So now we're going into a uh, four bed frontline beach uh, townhouse. You come into it and you have some uh, communal gardens with a pool, well, a, a, a pond and access to the communal gardens, which is gated, so only residents can get in. Coming into the house, you have a mailbox. As you enter the uh, hallway, there's storage on the right-hand side. Double big storage area. A guest bathroom and a large L-shaped kitchen. It's a big kitchen for uh, this type of property. Outside there's a area to, for laundry and uh, storage. You can keep all your beach lilos and stuff there when, and coming into the house. This wall here can be knocked through if you wanted it more open plan and then you've got the uh, open plan to the lounge area. Down to steps, you have the living dining area. The fireplace is working. So you have nice fires in the winter. And the living and dining area are separated. This is the other side of the wall where you could uh, knock through into the kitchen. And it's a big living space. Outside you have a covered area. Which leads on to an uncovered patio. Which is a large size. Here you have a built-in barbecue and an area where you can wash your feet if you're coming in off the beach. The uh, garden's gated and then leads onto the communal gardens and the pool area, which in turn leads onto the beachfront promenade. And here's the view of the house from the back. Uh, there's other viewings going on, so uh, interest in the house. Upstairs on the first floor there are four bedrooms and two bathrooms. So there's a second bathroom, sink, bath, toilet, bath with a shower in it and bidet. A large double bedroom really large double bedroom with fitted wardrobes each side of the window and from the windows you have you can see the sea and the beach and the pool area the, this is the what will be the fourth bedroom it's the smallest of the four but it's still large enough to get a double bed in and again it has sea views. The third bedroom again has fitted wardrobes, a large um, bed space. Uh, this has got a 160 by 200 bed in. You could get a 180 or 200 bed in here easily. This has an uh, English balcony looking onto the communal gardens on one side. and then views to the, the beach on the other side. It's a beautiful light bedroom, this. 
The fourth bedroom is en suite. Again with a bath, shower, toilet, sink and bidet. And this uh, room has garden views and a lot of fitted wardrobe space. This could be used as the master suite, as it's ensuite, uh, or the third bedroom with the views to both sides would be another good option for the uh, bedroom, the master bedroom. Then up to the roof, and we have the piste de resistance. Then you come out and there's a uh, outdoor kitchen, summer kitchen, a storage room, and then a huge terrace. Massive terrace. If you wanted to, there's a precedent set. If I show you the houses on the other side, you can see that uh, some of them have built a fifth bedroom on the roof. So that's been done. So no, no problems doing that. Here you can get a good idea of the pool area. Uh, it's a large pool. It's uh, enclosed for safety. Of, so children can play out in the gardens happily. And then there's gates which go straight onto the promenade. There's two gates from the community with, with uh, buzzers on so you, only residents can get into the gardens. Uh, they're just building a children's play area on the beach and the beach is Playa Ancha, which is blue flagged and one of the best beaches in on the Costa del Sol. You can walk to the left and you'll go to the Bay of Caceres. If you walk right on the promenade, it's a couple of minutes walk into San Luis de Sabinillas, where there are numerous restaurants, bars, supermarkets, cafes, uh, phone shops, pharmacies, banks, everything, everything there, uh, bus station. And if you walk through uh, San Luis, then you continue and you uh, end up in Porto de la Duquesa, where you have the Leisure Marina and hundreds of restaurants and bars and activities. So beautiful property, stunning, great condition, huge spaces, everything you could ask for really in a beachfront property. It's very rare that a bit uh, beachfront properties actually are this large. And for 350 euros, it's a bargain for a frontline beach property.
love that bathroom. It's nice, white, and clean. Maybe four bedrooms in it. We'll go up the stairs. Very yeah. bright. And there's a great big skylight. And I'm sorry, I'm in your room. A nice, neat bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people knock this out as well.